Hello again, Jimmy here at O'Reilly's on a rainy day. I've just come to look at a Peugeot partner. So I've seen this van before, it's been on my channel before. A few weeks ago, it had a new engine fitted, but now it's got AdBlue DPF light on. Okay, it's got the AdBlue flashing spanner light and engine management light over there. So we're just setting up the diagnostic machine. Let's see what's going on with this. It's probably going to need a new cat, knowing these vans. Catalyst. It's either the AdBlue tank, it's going to be like a P20E8, uh, AdBlue pressure low, or a P20EE catalyst efficiency, if I was to bet. ECM P20EE particle uh, emissions ineffective, but we've also got a P2002 particle filter detected absence absent. I think it's that. I think that's the right ECU there. Uh, data stream exhaust line two. Select everything there. Seventy kilometers since the last regen, three millibars of pressure, which seems okay. Let's hold the revs up to three thousand RPM. Twenty-five a little bit low. Wait, the sound from this engine sounds like it's blowing. Sounds like it's got a either an intake leak or exhaust leak something or the other just doesn't sound right so we'll try and get it up on some ramps and we'll see if we can have a look under the van if if i can't see anything under the van uh, next step might be smoke test okay we are up in the air let's get under and have a little look so that means i've got to lie on the puddle could use a creeper but i can't be i can't be bothered Okay, just having a little look around. I was expecting maybe to see this blown, but it's not. Got soot everywhere. Okay, that was a waste of time. Got a wet arse for no reason. Okay, let's get the smoke detector, or leak detector, attached. See what we can find. See if we can find any air leaks. And see, this is not a new engine, it's just been spray painted to make it look like one. And it doesn't sound very healthy, I'll be honest. So, whoever's fitted this hasn't done a good job from what I can see or the engine. I don't know if it's dropped, a, it sounds like it's maybe got a damaged valve or something. You can hear sort of blowing back pressure coming in okay we don't see much going on so far but we'll give it another minute in the meantime just gonna check the exhaust tip oh yeah that's definitely definitely had it crack DPF okay so that indicates that soot is coming past the DPF that shouldn't happen if you've got soot coming past the DPF it needs a new DPF end of story you don't need to do any more tests but obviously why do, why does it need a new DPF? A lot of people will ask that. On these particular vans there's no good reason. They just fail prematurely. Bad quality material or just a bad design. Um, how they've been set up I suppose. So yeah, it's going to need a new one. Okay so finished with the smoke test. We can't see any leaks um, here anywhere. I can maybe do another smoke test on the exhaust tip to see if we have any leaks on the exhaust. But I'm here to diagnose the DPF and to be fair that's done um, it just the engine doesn't sound right it just sounds like it's breathing heavy so I don't know if there's an issue there with that somewhere well there is ok 
Okay, so yeah, I had a quick think. Um, there's no point in me trying to see if we have any, any leaks on the exhaust because if we didn't have soot at the exhaust tip, I would check for some, uh, if we've got leaks anywhere that's causing the drop in pressure for the DPF, but you can see that the DPF's clearly broken. It's gonna to need to be replaced, so what's the point checking for leaks? So that's it, we'll see you on the next video.